So first what I'm going to do, um, since it's so hot out front, I'm around the back porch here and I want to plant um, my Helen Von Stein lamb's ear and I thought about doing the trio right here. Um, I also have a trio of agave so I thought I would just intermingle those. I'm not loving the way it looks but I do want that lamb's ear close to the rock so that it can kind of spill over and look good in pictures. So maybe maybe I'll do the trio right along the rock border. Maybe I'll do it like that because those agave will get pretty large. Let's see how that looks. They're looking really dry too. Maybe I'll do the trio along the edge like that. We'll see. I may have to play with that a little bit and see how I want it to look. Um, the other plant that I want to get in the ground while I'm back here, this is a variegated pinwheel jasmine. And look at the leaves. The leaves. That variegation is gorgeous. Now the flowers are not scented. It makes me super sad. But it is very prolific with the blooming. Um, that's a sad bloom. Let's get a happy bloom. There's a happy bloom. You can see why it's called a pinwheel jasmine. That flower looks just like a pinwheel. But it's not scented. I'll have to come out here at night and see if maybe I can smell a little bit of something else at night. But um, So hopefully on this corner where it's going to get mostly af uh, morning sun, a little bit of afternoon sun, hopefully on this corner here it'll get enough sun to keep the variegation and to keep the blooms. So we shall see. It is going to get some afternoon sun uh, when the sun gets past this tree right here. As um, soon as the sun passes this tree, it'll get a little bit more sun for a couple of hours. But that is gorgeous. It gets um, up to about eight feet high. So I thought on the corner here of the back porch, I can secure it to this uh, white 4 by 4 post. And it can climb up to just a little bit past the railing. So eventually the jasmine, and it's more of a shrub habit. It's not a trailing, like a, that you can train up a trellis like the uh, star jasmine. The regular star jasmine is more of a vine. This is more of a shrub that gets up to eight feet high. So it'll go on the corner and then I'll just tie it to that four by four post and it'll get just a little bit higher than the railing at full height. So I think that'll be pretty right there. All right, so let me uh, put this on the tripod and get to work. I'm gonna tease all this. Um, I mean, it's got a great root system, extensive, but I'm gonna loosen all this up because I don't want the roots to continue to go in a circle. I want them to go down into the soil. So I'm gonna scratch this up, pull all these out so they're not wrapping around. And I think that'll be fine right there. You can get it planted. I like it. I'm gonna have to tie it up just a little bit. I think I'm gonna get some jute rope, jute twine and pants, um, and just kind of hold it in a little bit tighter um, until it can get tall enough for me to secure it to the post. But I, I think it looks good there. I like it. It's variegated. Okay. All right, so option one for the lamb's ear is to have the three right here. Um, maybe they'll spill over this elongated cornerstone here. That could look nice. Bella, Bella stop. Or, or I could spread them out. 
with one to spill over this big flat stone here, one at the center of my agave trio, and then one centered here over the elongated cornerstone. I kind of like that better. Hmm. Or, or I could do the trio like this, um, where I have one of the lambs there integrated into the middle of the three agave, one in the middle, one to spill over um, these three smaller rocks here, and then one at the corner of the elongated piece. So I have the three agaves, and then I have the three lambs here kind of in a trio. I know. I think I like the second ob. I mean, these are gonna get fairly good size, so I, th I think I like my second option best. That way they have room to grow and get bigger. Hi, Chloe. All right, I think I'm gonna go with the second option. dry that's dry and rebound with that and I am gonna be breaking this up and the root ball got pretty dry now it was rainy all day yesterday I really didn't think it would be this dry but it is so good thing I'm getting it in the ground and I'll get them watered in really good with uh, the Medina plus Pretty root bound. And I'm breaking up these roots. These are perennials. Hopefully they will last for years and years. So I want to make sure that those roots <laughs> all the dirt. I want to make sure these roots go into the ground and don't continue round and round. And then the plant chokes itself out and dies. That would suck. Because I am real excited for these Helen Von Steins next spring and summer. I don't think they'll do much this year, but get their roots settled in. But next year should be a nice little show on this corner. I'm excited. That root system is insane. Oh my God. I can tell you as I'm zhuzhing these roots, it smells like carrots. It was a very sweet carrot smell. It's interesting. All right, I think that's pretty good. Okay. I just watered these, and we just had a lot of rain the other day. Look at that. Yesterday, yesterday it rained when the cold front came through. Crazy. Hear that? <sighs> they have a lot of roots, that's for sure. For sure. But this thing is almost dry as a bone. And it rained all day yesterday, like sprinkled. Hmm. Now these had fallen over, and I suppose water can't get to them if they're not in, too, in a position to accept the water. They were laying on their sides in the dirt here, a couple of these containers. They had fallen off the railing up there. So we had a little bit of wind with that cold front. All right. Let's break up that root memory. Have it start growing out instead of around in a square. Around in a square. <laughs> Oh, this root ball is still moist. It's not dried out like the others. 
and it doesn't seem to be as root bound either, but I'm still gonna break, break all this up at the bottom. Those girls. Okay, just like that. So it's the next morning, of course, um, but I have this area all cleaned up, uh, I'm taking the dirt and debris to a different location um, after I raked all this out. Um, I'm really happy with the Helen Von Stein Lamb's ear, and of course I have to use her full name when I refer to her. Beautiful. They've also perked up since being watered yesterday. Um, those root balls were super dry. And of course the dogs keep walking in here and around them not directly on them yet but i may have to fence this off but look how pretty that looks this morning all perked up and beautiful um i will be going around and burying uh my drip lines uh, for the irrigation i need to pop in some emitters for the new plants here and then i can bury those lines and it'll look a lot neater in the bed uh the pinwheel jasmine couple of blooms have fallen off since yesterday but I got some twine um, and went in here and just kind of pulled everything together I don't know if you can see the twine hold on there's a twine there it is so I just tied some twine holding the sticks in the stems in just a little bit so that it's more erect and not so flippity floppity until it gets tall enough that I can tie it to that beam there so Overall, I'm liking the way it looks. I'm also liking that I have so much space for more plants. I just need Houston Garden Center to hurry up with their 70% off sale. That'd be great. Anyway, I love it. Thanks for watching. Bye.